Alright, hey there guys, what is up? Welcome back to the newest episode of Spider-Man. And um, I'm going to forward through some of the boring parts of me doing some of the lab work. Even though the music is quite cool. Very, very chilled out, but um, I don't think you want to sit through all of that. So I just, I shortened it a lot. So here we go. Good as new. Doc's been testing new materials for the prosthetics. He asked me to review his work if I had time. May as well dig in now. Doc was testing a new contact material for the prosthetic. Hydrogel polymer composite. Strong, but there's a lot of impedance. Better tell Doc to keep looking for other materials. All right. So, here here's one thing that strikes me as a little bit strange. I'm not sure why they chose to boot J. Jonas Jameson out of his position at the Daily Bugle. My only rationale is that later on in the game you find out that Mary Jane is working for the Daily Bugle and you know, God forbid they put a female in a position where her work is at all contradictory because she's always talking about how good the work she does is. The strange thing about that is that there are people like that who exist right now. There are people like J. Jonah Jameson not realistically, but there are people who have similar personality traits to him, who are still occupying some of the highest positions in broadcasting. So how they thought that this was even feasible, I mean, realistically, he would have had an even bigger empire, uh, given all the, the wackos that listen to the, to the kind of crazy people that are out there. And John uh, Jameson isn't even that crazy. Most of the time, he's just offering a different point of view. Sure, he does get a little bit heated, like but he, you know, you know, you get what I'm saying. At the end of the day, I found it very strange that they thought to take this route. Just the facts with Jane Jonah Jameson, where listeners like you discuss the issues affecting our city with Pulitzer Prize winning two time, two time Pulitzer Prize winning former publisher of the Daily Bugle. Hey, plug the book. And. And as always, if you order Mr. Jameson's book, Spider-Man, Threat, or Menace, within 24 hours of our broadcast, you'll get an autographed copy at no extra charge. No personalizations? Don't ask? Not gonna get it. 
Welcome to Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, alerting you to the threats you don't even know about. Let's dive right into the calls. Speak. Okay, so not for nothing. You gotta give Spider-Man respect for taking down Wilson Fisk, right? I mean, one less mob boss is good for everyone. Is that right? Tell me, are you a police officer? Prosecutor? Maybe an award-winning reporter with decades on the job like me? Uh, no. I'm a plumber. Oh, good. And fix my toilet and shut up! Let me explain something to you about crime boys. As soon as one goes down, every punk with a gun, a tracksuit, and a drawer full of gold chains decides he's the next godfather. We're gonna have a gang war in the streets, but does that whip-headed moron give a damn? Of course not. He got on TV. That's what counts. <laughs> yeah, well, I can get copper pipe without paying kickbacks now. So until that gang war starts, I'm on the webhead side. And you'll be singing a different tune when three new mobs are lining up to charge you triple for that same pipe. Or just break your legs. Goodbye! <sighs> Someday, Jonah, I'm gonna get you to say something nice about me.